and welcome to my channel. I am so, so glad you are here. In this video, I will be going over exactly how my small pantry went from a cluttered space to a clean and organized space that you can visibly see where everything is and you can quickly grab and go. I also will be going over where I purchased some items from for the pantry, how much I spent, and tips and tricks on how to organize a small pantry. I hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty, so as you can see here, I just started out my organization by taking everything out of the pantry. Um, as I took it out, I kind of organized things on my countertops of where I want them to go after so as far as like categories of things like all my oils and cans went in one spot all the snacks went in another all my supplements went in a different spot and so on also after i took everything out i took out my spray that i made myself it's a cleaner and it's composed of water vinegar and essential oil of your choice i chose peppermint essential oil so i just gave all of the wood a good spray down and i wiped it clean with a microfiber cloth and it gave it a really good clean and became fresh for me to put all the goodies back in I have to say, taking the spices out and all of the supplements was the most tedious part of the organization only because there's probably like, I don't know, around 50 to 60 items up on that shelf. So it just kind of took a while to take things out. But once I got it done, I was so, so happy. Okay, so here I'm just organizing food by their categories. I'm putting dried fruit and nuts together in one bin, and then I put my daughter's snacks in a bin, such as like her puffs and her little wafers. Um, and then I organize our other snacks, such as like pretzels and chips in another bin. And then I have like a miscellaneous bin too that like is just like extra stuff or like mismatched stuff. I don't know why but this was my favorite part of the video i honestly think it's because when i watch like organization videos especially like pantry organization i love watching the people putting the foods into these like beautiful canisters so i have to say i really enjoyed this part so i hope you do too All of the containers I purchased were under $100 altogether. I ordered them from Amazon and I went to Marshalls to pick some up too and even the dollar store for a couple of the smaller plastic bins where I store some goodies. Um, I like the glass jars with the wood tops and the acrylic bins. I especially love the glass because it doesn't allow for chemicals to seep into the food. like. A plastic wood so that's why I turn to glass and it also preserves things for longer especially if it's sealed tight with a, a good lid um, and the acrylic bins I just love too because it makes things easier to see when you're grabbing to go <laughs> into the clean pantry um, by their categories. I'm putting like oils and vinegars and breadcrumbs and cans in one spot. And then I'm placing all of like the cooking and baking goods in another spot, such as like flour and oatmeal and 
powdered sugar and brown sugar and all those goodies. Um, one shelf, which you will see, is just de designated for baking. So I also have like baking powder, baking soda, vanilla extract, and other extracts on a little organizer that spins around so it makes it easy to access the items. little glass canisters with the bamboo lids i purchased them off of amazon for around i believe like 30 to 35 dollars they come with little chalkboard stickers in a acrylic i think an acrylic little white pen i don't know what it is a chalk pen i guess we can call it um so i was able to write each spice's name on it and i love how the end result came out so stay tuned to see that <music> supplements um i did not realize that i've acquired so many different supplements over the years <laughs> most of them are all like holistic like herbal or food-based supplements but we do have a lot depending on our body's needs so i'm organizing those into bins some of them i'm putting away or even throwing away if i'm not using them but most of them, like I said, we're using, so I'm going to have them out and easily accessible for us to consume. Here is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please subscribe if you haven't yet and have a great rest of your day or night. Thanks guys.